Hi friends. So in this video, we are gonna see a problem based on logarithm of complex number. So here we have to prove that log of 1 upon 1 minus e raised to i theta, which is a complex number, is equal to log of 1 by 2 cosec theta by 2 plus i pi by 2 minus theta by 2. Now to prove this given question, I will start with the log of 1 upon 1 minus e raised to i theta term. So here we know that e raised to i theta is cos theta plus i sin theta. So let's substitute the values. So here we'll get log of 1 upon 1 minus e raised to i theta as log of 1 upon 1 minus cos theta plus i sin theta. Now in logarithm we have one more rule that is log of 1 by x is equal to minus log x. So I will use this formula here. So this is nothing but log of 1 upon x. This will become minus of log of 1 minus cos theta plus i sin theta. Now due to this minus sign all the signs of this bracket will change. So this will become minus log of 1 minus cos theta minus i sin theta. Now next we can use the formulas. So here the formula for 1 minus cos theta is nothing but 2 sin square theta by 2. Similarly the formula for sin theta is 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2. Now from these two terms I can take 2 sin theta by 2 common. So this will become 2 sin theta by 2 outside in the bracket will get sin theta by 2 minus i cos theta by 2. Now here in the log we have two terms which are multiplying each other. So here I can apply the formula log a into b that is log a plus log b. So that will become minus of log of 2 sin theta by 2 plus log of sin theta by 2 minus i cos theta by 2. Now due to this minus sign this will become minus log of 2 sin theta by 2 and minus log of sin theta by 2 minus i cos theta by 2. Now let's solve one one term. So here the second term is nothing but logarithm of a complex number. But this complex number is not in the standard form because we should get the cos term as the real part and the sin term as the imaginary part. So I'll change that accordingly over here. Similarly, if you'll see the first part, in the bracket we just have the real part. So this is the log of a real number. So here I will again apply the same formula. If you'll see it is minus log of 2 sin theta by 2. I'll consider this as x. So if it is x then minus log x I can write it down as log of 1 by x. So this term will become log of 1 by 2 sin theta by 2. Similarly, the second term that is log of sin theta by 2 minus i cos theta by 2 I'll bring this number in the standard form of complex number. So to make this sign as cos and to make this cos as sign, I'll use the formula cos pi by 2 cos pi by 2 minus theta by 2 which will give me sin theta by 2. Similarly, here I'll apply the formula sin pi by 2 minus theta by 2 which will give me cos theta by 2. So the sin theta by 2 will become cos of pi by 2 minus theta by 2. So let's substitute. So here it will become 
cos of pi by 2 minus theta by 2 minus i sin pi by 2 minus theta by 2. So now next this will become log of this 1 by 2 remain as it is and 1 upon sin theta by 2 will become cosec of theta by 2. Now here in the second term log and I will represent this complex number in the exponential form which will become e raised to minus i pi by 2 minus theta by 2. So, it is log of half cosec theta by 2 as it is. Now, log and e will be cancelled and we will get minus and minus that is plus i pi by 2 minus theta by 2 and this is the required result. Thank you.